Hi, I'm Herrick Kimball. In this video, I'm going to show you a remarkable technique for making complex sheet good cuts very accurately and very easily with no measuring hassles. This is an idea that I learned from a flooring installer some 30 years ago, and I used it through my career many times when I was a remodeling contractor. I'm not going to show you exactly what the flooring installer did. I've modified my technique. It, you've probably never seen it quite like this. This is an idea that's going to that's going to get you through some really difficult situations when it comes to uh, cutting complicated angles and notches and things like that. This idea is explained and shown in this 1996 book that I wrote for the Taunton Press, Making Plastic Laminate Countertops. You'll notice there's a guy right here. That's me with no gray hair, just black hair and no beard, just a mustache. My friend George Steigerwald once told me, Herrick, if they put a pretty girl on the cover instead of you, you would have sold a whole lot more copies. And he's probably right. So right here I have a hypothetical shape for purposes of demonstration. What I'm gonna do here is make a transferable file folder paper pattern. Making a paper pattern is so much easier than trying to measure and get something to fit. I had a job once, a kitchen remodeling job, where the customer wanted a bay window in front of the sink and they wanted this, the countertop to run right out into the bay. You know, it wasn't up above the counter. They wanted it all at one level. That was a tough piece of laminate to cut, to cut this and another angle over here and, and the rest of the way, you know, one big sheet. Well, I did it with the idea that I'm gonna show you right here. And it wasn't that hard. Measuring it out would have been touch and go. Uh, it might have fit, it might not have fit just right, it might have needed a little tweaking. With the idea I'm going to show you here, you get a perfect fit right away. Now, so I've got this kind of a bow or bay window angle there, and then over here I've got a, an out of square angle. All right. So I don't need a square, I don't need a measuring tape, don't need any of that. I just wanted to show you that that's out of square. So to make a transferable file folder pattern, you're going to need file folders. These are just common file folders. They're heavy stock paper, and when you unfold them, they lay flat. That's the nice thing about these. You can keep a box of these behind the seat of your pickup truck if you're in business. That's what I used to do. I always had file folders because the applications for this idea aren't just for sheet goods. You can use it for uh, laminate flooring, and uh, tile, things like that, where you have to make a fit against a complicated shape. You can do the same thing that I'm about to show you. The first thing you need to do is take a utility knife and cut, this is what I do, cut a triangle out of your file folders just like that. And then lay it in place and you'll see that well, this, it fits perfectly there, but not over here. So to get a good uh, coped in fit, I can scribe it with my uh, compass, or you could take something like a, a block of wood. Here, we'll move this over a little. You could uh, use a block of wood like that. That's what we're gonna do. And then you cut with your scissors, the uh, pencil point there is not mm, as sharp as it could be, but it's sharp enough, I think. And we come over and we've got our fit. Now, if I didn't like the way that fit, if it was a little off, I'd, I would just uh, scribe it again. But we're good enough. So now I'm gonna take my tape, I'm gonna tape right over that triangle just like so. Then we'll go for our next piece. I'm gonna cut the triangles out of another file folder like that. And we're gonna go right here. Okay, we'll get our piece of wood again. The wood seems to work pretty well. Just a piece of scrap wood. 
continue our line. And if you don't have scissors, you can use tin snips. These are vintage Malco tin snips, picked up at a yard sale. I like these, get a lot of good leverage. But uh, scissors actually work better for this. There, I'm happy with that fit. And I'm going to tape these triangles again. I'm sure you're grasping the concept by now. I will continue to the end and show you what we end up with. Wouldn't be a very good how-to video if I didn't finish, would it? There we go. Yeah, well, you know, yeah, there we go. Looks good. Oh, I got two there. Oh, good. This, this process, when you're actually doing it, uh, it's kind of, kind of fun because you know that you're gonna end up with an awesome good cut. I've done this uh, on small bathrooms put on, to put underlayment down for uh, new flooring where you have to go around the vanity and you've gotta go you know, around the toilet flange. And uh, I remember one bathroom had a, had a tub that it wasn't, it wasn't straight in front of it. It kind of bumped out like that, had a little sweep. Oh, here we go. This, 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 uh, huh. I've got a little spot here that is not covered and maybe it doesn't need, need to be, but um, just for demonstration purposes, if you need to throw in a little piece somewhere, you can do it. You can, you got all kinds of versa versatility with this uh, paper pattern I did. Now that all of this is taped, I can't really peel this up and have it be in one piece unless I first tape all the loose edges right here. Tape, tape, tape all of those. Tape all of those and you'll get a, as you will see, a very nice solid transferable pattern. What I'm gonna do is trim it right here because, well, maybe that's necessary for our hypothetical situation that we have this edge be just right also. And, and it is. So once your pattern is all made, all your edges are taped, it's then a simple process to just peel it up. It's, all, it's gonna hold together, even if it's a big sheet, it'll hold together. And you've got your tape showing on the backside here, all over the pattern. And that tape allows you to lay your pattern onto your sheet goods, whatever it might be, and stick it down and trace and cut and fit and amaze not only yourself, but anyone else who might be around. That's it, folks. Thanks for watching. I hope you'll uh, file this idea away. It can come in really handy uh, at, at times. So, okay. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye-bye.